There it goes, Temple of the Dog and Hunger Strike on Night Sounds. Barry Funkhauser here with Joe. Hey, Joe, hey. how's it going, man? Happy weekend. Hey, happy weekend. I'm you really excited about it because I have not slept at all this week. My cats, you haven't cats, slept. man, they're going crazy. Well, you look all fancy today, like you're uh, you, you're wearing everything that you got from Hawaii, all in one package. <laughs> um, no, not everything that I've got. Uh, actually, did I? Um, no, you know what? Actually, uh, it's uh, the this is Old Navy. The tank top's Old Navy. This is from Amazon. Um, I think only the hat. I think that's the only thing I got from Hawaii. Oh man, just a second to give props to Old Navy and their uh, their wardrobe, man. They are they have the best. For my age group and yours too, Joe, they have like the best shirts for like seven dollars. I'm telling you. Oh yeah, well my I've gotten to a point where there's a few things that I'll spend money on, um, because I know it's worth it. Like shoes, shoes right. I'll spend money on, especially like running shoes. I'll I'll, I'll go a, a, over a hundred dollars for a good pair of running shoes, but something I I just don't want to spend money on anymore because I just blow through them. Tank tops and t-shirts. Like, yeah, man. I don't need to spend $25 to get like a billabong or a, um, you know, uh, any kind of like surfer or skater tank top. I don't need a brand name. Just give me something fun with a, like a fun graphic on it. And I wait, I even wait for old navy to have sales i got this for three dollars yeah, exactly <laughs> man i'm telling you old navy for the win those little department stores the chain ones uh tillies and stuff like that tillies yeah. you mean didn't i say tillies that's no you said tellies like like uh like a british person would say for television a telly <laughs> gotta get it on the telly but Old Navy, man, that's the one. They're not a sponsor, but I wish they were. Because then I get all <laughs> oh, the man. shirts. If, if Old Navy was a sponsor, we would not have any other jobs. We would be doing man, this full time. They don't even need to be a sponsor because I can clean up going in there, getting one of everything, <laughs> man. It's like, psh, get me on the off season, the clearance aisle. Anyway. anyway Actually, so, yeah, do that. Get some super cash. Trade that stuff cash. right on in. You know man, what I'm talking about. Fake money. Love it. <laughs> Well, speaking of that, speaking of being frugal, I'm taking my sweetie somewhere for her birthday, Joe. I figured it out. You know, it's very hard. Oh, you hard finally to did? Oh, yeah. oh, guys, mm -hmm. I have to tell you, he has been, he has been bugging me about this for literally for weeks. Like, yeah, Joe, because... you're my travel guy. I need some advice. Exactly. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. The I don't know what your sweetie need, wants to do. The one time I need you, you're, you're like, I don't know. I don't know nothing. But I tell you, as soon as we start talking about where I picked, you're going to go, oh, did you know? Oh, did you know? Oh, did watch. I tell you. I bet you. Okay. So guess where what? we're going? We're taking I, a one I don't know, night Death Valley. stay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, girlfriend. Let's go to the <laughs> coldest, darkest, driest. No, we're going to solving. Oh, cool. Um, solving. What do I know about solving? Central Coast um, of California. It's kind of yes. a Disneyland kind of thing. It's a Danish town. Yes. That's they have a, just... they, Oh, they have a Hans Christian Andersen Museum. Oh, do they? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they have a they have a little mermaid statue that you could take a picture next to that's modeled after the famous one in Copenhagen. Um, and what else is there? Oh, and the Mad Caddies are from around there. <laughs> that's all yeah, I know man. about Solving. <laughs> Mad Caddies got a new record coming out. We're going to talk to them oh, in a cool. couple of weeks here, but yeah, man, Golita. Aren't they from Golita? I don't know. Oh, they. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I think maybe one guy was no, but the the main guys like Chuck and Sasha, and is Todd still their drummer? Anyway, they were all from like over the hill. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you know, if you lived in Santa Barbara, there you was know. there was Santa Barbara, then there was IV. You didn't say Golita really. It was just like IV. And that was like encompassed Galita too, or you lived on the other side of the hill and the other side of the hill was like, you had to go over the pass and that took you into, uh, like the Santa, what, what, is, what is that Valley called? They can't even remember. I don't know. It's a nice um, one though. It's got like a park and ride there. Oh yeah. I mean, it's, it's nice out there, but <laughs> Solvin is like that, that little touristy town, but that is Santa Barbara County wine region. So 
Solvane has a lot of wineries and, you know, walk-ins that you can go into and, and test some stuff out. It's cute there. I think you guys will have a good time. I think your sweetie will like that. Yeah, man. We've only been breezing through, and uh, now we're going to stay for a full day, maybe a couple of days. So, Oh, cool. Where do you, where do you, uh, where do you find to stay at, hotel-wise? We're staying at the Cork Hotel. The Cork. We'll be at the Cork. Room 2740. Sounds, that sounds very Irish. At the Cork. Cork County. Um, no, it's, it's I've never been there. C-O-R-Q-U-E. See what they did with that? The Cork. Oh. Uh, but those of yeah, you listening. Yeah, as a, as a literary um, writer, I think your sweetie will, will appreciate that. More so. Figure. Us Cretans over here. <laughs> yeah so for those of you listening if you have any tips for me going to solving let me know send me an email uh visit nightsoundsradio.net and that's how you can get in touch with myself and joe self oh i do have another recommendation oh please how to get there don't take the 101 stop off in santa barbara and then go over the pass because at the top of the pass is a really old, um, famous stagecoach stop that has turned into like a biker bar, old rocker, indie rock, folk music hangout. It's really cool there. I think you should go. I, I think it is actually called like the Stagecoach Cafe or something like that. I have to check that out for sure. Oh, no, it check like it. Yeah, check it out. Like, take the pass over, and then when you're coming home, just, like, you know, zip down the 101. Because um, if you do that, you are actually on the coast side when you're coming down the 101. It makes it really easy to get off and, and hit some of those beaches. You can go to, like, El Capitan. You can go to Gaviota. And because you're on the west side of the freeway you're like on the beach so you don't have to like cross over traffic which is really really dangerous see i knew you'd have the right answer man you know but if i had it my way joe i'd take the night train Ooh, you know nice saying? segue man that's right baby <laughs> let's play you a song here on night sounds guns and roses night train on night sounds <laughs> 